What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Little Sasa Corey, the one who never knows best, bringing you some more Dragon Ball Fighters, and today I'm bringing you another coverage video of my latest run at the City of Mayhem online Dragon Ball Fighters tournament that is regularly hosted by Bum163 over on his Switch channel. And as always, I'll leave the link in the description down below, and I'm sure if I forget, you guys will be quick to remind me. But um, yes, I entered the tournament yet again uh, this past week, and uh, I did pretty well, and you're going to see how well I did uh, in these next couple of videos. And there might be some Guilty Gear or something else in between, but you know, I'll be dropping these videos over the next few days. And uh, I once again entered with the base Vegeta Trunks Android 21 team, and honestly, I'm debating right now also like i see the name of my opponent okay yes uh, let's get our hoo-hoos and our ho-hos and our ha-has out real quick yes anyway uh, you can see he's running a team of android 18 goku black and blue goku but i'm wondering i'm wondering if i want to make the base vegeta trunks 21 team like my tournament team and then my 18 bardock trunks team is just like my main team for just playing around with like with my friends and just playing in casuals and like ranked and stuff like that you know what i'm saying like because I, I like both these teams equally and it's hard to decide sometimes which team i want to use competitively and i don't know i haven't really made a decision on that it's just something i've thought about but uh i feel like i'm just as good with either team although i do feel like this is the better team and i feel like if i put more time into this team i could do well but it's not like and i don't want anybody to think I'm, I'm trying to play this team just because i feel like i i have to in order to win or like i just um uh, i'm feeling pressured to play this team no you, you guys gotta remember i love both of these teams a lot i love base gd and 21 pretty much about the same as i love 18 and products so that's why it's always hard for me to, to, to choose one and i still consider the 18 and product my main team but yeah, anyway, you'll see big 2H there on the EXS transmission. We're actually looking pretty good here in our first uh, in our first match. And this is actually the second round of Winter Side. Actually, that Dragon Rush wasn't supposed to be a reset. I wanted the Dragon Rush off the Trunks Assist, and it just happened to work out the way it looked like I was trying to reset him, but that wasn't the case at all. Anyway, that caused us to lose our Android 21, but it's fine. I was still feeling pretty good about this. But um, yeah, I actually got a buy in the first round. So this was actually uh, a second round opponent who had to play somebody before he got to me. Uh, fortunately enough, I guess Bum considers me a, a skilled enough player and a player who was placed high enough in the past to where I can get a buy first round and not have to be one of the people fighting down there in the shark infested waters of the first pool, if that makes sense. Anyway, he gets caught by a two of them there for some reason. Um, maybe he was trying to jump out or push or reflect. Either way, we caught his toes. And he's down to just a blue Goku and his Goku Black, which is an interesting team, a combination of these three. Um, not something that you typically see. And he gets caught by the base Vegeta assist, but I was too far away to really convert off of it. He jumps forward to JH, and we're just playing some neutral, and he caught me during the middle of my 5S with Goku's EX tackle. But unfortunately, he was not able to convert off that. I get clipped by the beam assist. It's fine. Raw tag out. We trade hits. <laughs> my Rocky kick beats, beats his EX kick. And uh, I drop my loops. And that's something you're going to see a bit uh, throughout this event, I believe, is that... Um, for some reason, I was dropping my loops off of EX Rocket Kick quite a bit. Um, I was getting my, you know, the loops otherwise, and when, when I'm in the corner and I'm airborne, you know, my regular corner combo. But uh, off of EX Rocket Kick, I was just dropping it a lot. And speaking of drops, we also drop it there off the EX uh, Knee Drop, but uh, drop the EX Knee Drop. But yeah, yeah, Rocket Kick doing what it does best. Down goes the blue Goku. Now we're left with base Vegeta and Trunks and Spark and four bars, and I'm not really concerned at all about this Goku Black. So I'm just gonna do my thing. And uh, I was coming down the lane about to do my thing and. Number 13 crashed into me. I think I just caught him out of his EX, uh, not his EX, but just his instant transmission. Boom, into the level three. And uh, I need, to, oh, actually I did level one into level two, level, uh, into level one into level two. Right, right. I don't think this was enough though, right? Yeah, he still barely lives. Ah, man, the damage on Trunks level two is not great. And he was using that dive kick a lot. And uh, I, I, should, I needed to start punishing it more with um, just like a 5S or something, or like a, a CTF, or maybe even just like stay in place and 2H him. He was throwing it out a bit too much. EX Sense Transmission, I sparked there because I didn't feel like I was going to be able to 2H that in time. Again, he whips a dive kick, and just as I said, punishing that with the, uh, or with the 5S. But, um, oh man, there was another point I was going to make, or something else I was going to say, and it, it's slipping my mind. Oh well, it is what it is. I didn't opt for the round start kick at the start of this round, but we do find the hit with the uh, the trunks assist. I spent both my assists though, so I couldn't extend that better. Or rather, I could have extended that better if I had done like a key blast into medium rocket kick. I would have gotten to the corner. And I could have got a pretty good combo, but hindsight's 2020. Anyway, speaking of corner combos, uh, <laughs> he cracks my don't piece, gets a pretty good one here with Android 18, but he drops his combo, goes for a dragon rush, and there's my EX kick. And again, I think I go for loops here, boom, 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 and I just wasn't getting the the height quite right, and I was dropping them and. Quite frankly, I need to uh, practice the, the the other corner route that I see uh, more skilled base Vegeta players go for. Because I'm just going for like the basic loops, but there's a more advanced loop route. And again, he tried to backdash, and I just kind of slipped with that 2M. Um, but yeah, I, I, I did finally get the, the, the notations for the route, so I will be practicing it and trying to incorporate that into my play. It's something that I have practiced before and just wasn't able to do. 
but I'm gonna actually commit to learning it, um, even if it does take me some time. EX flip over the barrier, find there with the JL, but wasn't able to fully convert off of it. Three Super Dash there just kind of like, because Super Dash, it kind of like raises you up a little bit more before you go downward, so I did that specifically to try to avoid the beam assist. Kind of worked out, kind of didn't, but is what it is. Missed my extension off the 21 assist, but it's fine. Again, blocking the beam assist, he goes for the command grab, we're out of range, we jump away, catch him with the CTF, where'd you think you were going? Those vibes are getting checked, extend off the base Vegeta, boom, 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 key blast, key blast, shining slash, and now we've got this corner Oki. Fake out change the future, then going for a jump in, he tried to do something on wake up, got hit for it, tried to jump again, I'm pretty sure he got caught again, his sparking's gone, and so is his Android 18, leaving us with a full team, uh, pretty healthy, still got spark on the table. I gotta imagine that that was on accident, but it, he got away with it anyway. Um, and again, I was going to go for a beam behind the, uh, the 21 beam, but he was you know, schmooving quite a bit and didn't really get caught. I tried to extend off the bits of assist, didn't quite work out. And I messed up my Oki, so he gets the uh, the uptech into the JH that uh, you know is, is notoriously seen online. And um, yeah, oh, speaking of online, we actually got some offline. I know that wasn't the greatest segue, but <gasps> he almost made it my spark, but he kind of messed up with the timing. He had the right idea, but he messed up with the timing. Anyway, we're going to flip out of there. Yes, offline event. France versus USA. How many of you guys saw it? I know a lot of you guys were, were there watching with me on Twitch, which, by the way, if you don't follow the stream, twitch.tv slash source SLCore. Link is always in the description down below. We have a lot of fun over there playing Dragon Ball, playing Guilty Gear, playing Genshin. I need to get back on my Persona 5 Royal playthrough as well. But I mean, we had over 3,000 of you guys there in the stream with me watching uh, all the, the, the festivities of the last couple of days. And that double set, they could have been the end of the match right there. Unfortunately, Blue Goku fell out, but it's fine. We still got a really healthy team, all three characters, uh, plenty of bar on our side. That's going to be the end of Goku Black. Just a simple level one, level one. He's down to just his Blue Goku with no sparking and very little health. He's going to have three and a half bars, but it's going to be an uphill battle for him if there ever were one. Uh, that being said, yes, the... the uh, well, I guess I won't spoil it too much for those of you who haven't seen it yet, but... Uh, man, that, that event was something. That that event was something, and I think it actually inspired a lot of people to want to pick the game back up or grind the game a bit and, and get serious about it again. I, I I saw Sonic Fox tweeting that they want to get serious about the game again because if you weren't aware, they weren't really playing the game that much. Um, and honestly, a couple of the guys who actually went to this event weren't playing the game that much. Uh, you know, here from the U.S. But um, I think a lot of people they're just like. You know, this is sick. Like, this is fun. I like. I, I want to show that like you know I'm, I'm nasty with it, and people want to actually grind the game again. And um, you know, I, I feel a bit like that too. Even though I never stopped, but it's always inspiring when you see like the highest level playing. Like, damn, I want to get really good at this game. But apparently, we're good enough to at least beat our first opponent here in the second round of winners in City of Mayhem. And I'll be back when I find my next match, or not when I find my next match. I'll be back with the next match. The match has already happened. You know, what I'm saying it's just ranked brain anyway. Alrighty, and our second opponent was Ali versus the world, winning another Android 18. So we have Team Gohan, Kefla, Android 18 rocking that BSS. Team Gohan also with the BSS, and I feel like it's becoming more and more common for these Team Gohan players to be rocking this BSS. Early on, it felt like it was very rare, and a lot of people were questioning why you'd ever even want to run the BSS, but I don't know, man. Like, I feel like it's almost most of the players I run into that run Team Gohan, at least in ranked right um they're running the b assist if not the c assist obviously c assists are very popular i can't stand them but it is what it is i get why people use them and um i had almost popped the starburst while i'm doing this i probably shouldn't eat that while i'm talking anyway uh, i'll save that for <laughs> after this but um yeah the b assist on team gohan we find the first hit with the rocket kick taking to the corner ex rocket kick yet again and again i go for the loops but just wasn't getting the height quite right and i noticed at that time that the height was off so i just went for the for the knee drop I actually found the hit there, but didn't commit to it hard enough to kill him. And he actually got away from the 21 assist. And I thought that that raw attack was going to nuke me, but it didn't. The, the command dash actually has a vulnerability, so she actually was able to avoid the, the, the disc game. But it's fine. Cracked his dome piece with the 6M. And then we uh, we proceed to give you what you need. We send off the 21 assist, take him to the corner. Da, 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 da. Knee drop. I think I, yeah, the hit stun wall off there. And I. I don't think I wanted to raw tag there. I think I just meant to call my assist and I accidentally got a raw tag, but it's fine. Uh, they find the hit, but did not convert it properly. Sparkin's already off the table for them. Our team's starting to leak a little bit. Sparkin's off the table for us as well, but our team's looking a lot healthier. We've got nearly five bars here, so I'm going to spend some of it. Level one, going to bring in Android 21 for the level three. Oh, I remember. I remember what it is now that I was going to say. I remember earlier I said I had a point that I wanted to make, unless there was something else that I was going to say after this, and I just wanted to say this as well. But I remember one of the things I was going to mention anyway. I need to work on my Oki, for sure. I feel like my Oki is very, uh, hold that by the way, you can't super dash at me or raw tag when I've got those yellow steals because if you think you're just gonna super dash through this through these key blasts, I'm just gonna hit you with this command grab. Anyway, um, I feel like my Oki is very hit or miss. I feel like uh, it's not as tight as it, as it should be and I'm letting people like mash uh, in situations where they should be able to and I'm like messing up my mix ups oftentimes with like base Vegeta and Android 21 with their post level threes. Um, 
and they both have very powerful mix-ups and the same thing goes for uh trunks and android 18 as well and even barter like all of my characters like yeah all all five of the main characters that i play have pretty good oki after the level three um obviously the strongest is base vegeta and, and and 21 trunks is pretty good but it's a lot harder 18s is similar to android 8 uh to android 21s but not quite as good in my opinion but it, it's still pretty strong it's still pretty strong um, but I, I need to practice it more. I need to practice it more. But speaking of practicing more, it looks like Ali needs to practice a little bit more considering how well we're doing here uh, in this first game. Because he's already down just to Team Gohan. And, you know, I don't really have a whole lot of faith in Team Gohan Anchor. And I probably should have done a better extension here. That was actually supposed to be a command grab. That key blast there was actually, I want a command grab because I could have that. That's why I did the EX knee drop because I could have gotten a better extension with killed with that combo. But I probably could have jumped, canceled a bit more and delayed my combo and extended it off to 21 assist but either way it, it all worked out we found a double jump with the uh we found a, uh, an air to air with the jl after the double jump and killed the team gohan and right here he returned to ring room so i assumed uh i assumed that he was going to switch characters but i mean you'll see here he took his sweet time and i don't know maybe he wanted a breather because that is something that uh oftentimes a player will do um Excuse me, but he even backed out here, so I was like, okay, he's, he's gonna he's gonna do a team switch. And actually, let me pay attention carefully here to see if his assist or anything changed. <laughs> Excuse me, yo, what's good with these hiccups and these burps? Anyway, I apologize. Um, yeah, I don't think he swapped his team order or his assist at all. That's what you'll see here in a moment. But I was like, yo, why is he taking a sweet time? But um, it is not uncommon for players after losing a match especially losing a match very um convincingly to just take a second to just breathe think about what happened process the situation and then jump back into it I, you see this all the time um in in fighting game tournaments where a player will return to character select even if they aren't uh changing their characters just so that they can get that moment to breathe and it's not like it's against the rules or anything and i i don't think he was trying to kill my, my momentum or you know anything like that not that it really matters to me uh but yeah you'll see yeah he just jumped right back into it with the exact same team the exact same assist so Maybe he just wanted that second to breathe. I, I can't really say for sure. All I know is I'm just jumping right back into things, just doing what I do and uh, making it do what do. What do it do? Do, do, do. What, is that Phineas and Ferb? I think that's Phineas and Ferb. I never really watched Phineas and Ferb. Why do I know that song? A G L E T. Don't forget it. We're going to change the world one word at a time. Anyway, <laughs> we jump right back into things. Uh, team Gohan versus Base Vita. I don't opt for the round start kick. Um, one thing I have been doing a lot more is just using the moon jump at the start of a round, uh, just because I feel like it gets me away from like most options uh, pretty safely, especially since now it's so easy with the macro. And um, yeah, I didn't mean the auto combo there, I'm not gonna lie, so I just saved it with the Super Dash because I figured he wouldn't be expecting it, because uh, I doubted he was gonna push a 2H after blocking light, light, light. I thought if anything, he'd probably just do his own light, but I figured that if I Super Dash right there, it, his, his jab would whiff uh, if you were to stick one out, and then I'd get the, the hit. And I got the hit, but it didn't really, I didn't really con convert it the way I thought I would, but it's fine. Extend off the 21, or off the um, Trunks Assist, and we go into loops here, and that should be a dead Android 18. Boop, 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 knock her down. Command grab, level one, into the level one with Trunks as well. And we're looking solid here. I was I was feeling pretty good, you know, I was dropping some combos, and I still wasn't playing as cleanly as I would like. Uh, but, you know, after taking things 2-0 in my first game, and then proceeding on into this match, I was like, okay, we won that first game pretty convincingly. Uh, he might turn up here in the second half. And again, I thought he was going to bring out like a UI Goku or a Gogeta or something like that. But that didn't happen. So when he kept playing the same team, I was like, oh, bet, we got this. I vanished this time on a 6-H, not letting that catch me. Well, I didn't feel like I could get to her in time off the uh, the 21 assist, so I just opted for a 5S to confirm that combo. Went for a vanish and basically got to the other side of the screen. And so I was like, you know, we'll, we'll take that, we'll take that. They jump after blocking my CTF, but throws the cannonball. So we punish that with the shining slash. Forced that sparking out of her. And yeah, she bops 21, didn't save herself with an empty vanish. We 2 h that, extended off the base Vegeta assist. Na da 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 Knockdown, didn't go for a sliding knockdown here by like doing a vanish into a DR because I want to keep the corner. Um, so not the best combo, but I just opted for damage at, at that point. And uh, yeah, empty vanish off the beam, and then the air dash just to reset her a little, not reset her, but um, you know, just to uh, take her to the corner, uh, to the other side. And um, yeah, you'll even see I went for a re-jump there, not even like the EX flip re-jump, but the regular re-jump. And I mentioned before that uh, you can tell a lot by how confident I'm feeling or, or how good I'm feeling uh, in a match based off my combo choice. If you see me go for re-jumps in a match, that means I'm feeling pretty good. That, that means I'm feeling pretty good. So yeah, I, you, you could tell I was feeling pretty good in this match right now, feeling pretty confident because I was I was going for for regular rejumps with Trunks when I didn't even need it, I don't think, to kill. Um, 
But uh, yeah, <laughs> gets caught by the base of Genesis. We didn't confirm. No light, light, light coming out of the team. Gohan there. We caught him. We caught him mashing something. The backflip of the key blast. Caught him wanting to push buttons, as Team Gohan often wants to do. Oop, whiffs the DP. No punch by us. That's fine, though. EX flip, tried to get away. Caught by the super dash, though. And uh, it just knocks it down, takes it back to the corner. But I'm like, there's no way you make this uphill battle. Uh, we're just going to you know, stay patient block here. I saw the key blast, super dashed out. I was actually really, really ready. I had my finger on the trigger for the super dash button because a lot of Team Gohans like to do 2S there. They like to do their bombs. Um, so I was like, if I see a key blast, I'm super dashing immediately and hoping that I don't get caught by something else. Made the right call. And that's going to be our second things 2 0 over Ali. And I have a few more matches to cover. Uh, because I made it a bit deeper into the bracket, so I'm not sure how exactly I want to break it up. So this might be a bit of a shorter video, but I think I'm actually going to wrap it up here. And I might try to do, uh, I don't even know how many matches do I have in total. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah I, I think it'll probably be for the best for the longevity of this if I just wrap this video up here. But yeah, we won our first two matches in winners, uh, round two and three, four games straight. So I was feeling pretty good. I was like, oh shit, today might be my day. We might go ahead and crack a top eight today. Maybe even win a side top eight. Who knows? And uh, as I was looking through the bracket, I didn't see any names that like stood out to me. And I was like, okay, I, there's no way in chance, there's no way in hell that I beat this guy. There was like 70 something people in the bracket, but I was like, you know, obviously there's some players in here who I feel like are stronger than me. But, um, you know, if I play solid, I felt like I could take on whoever it was. And I said a pretty good chance and um, well, you'll see how things turned out. So it is what it is. Anyway, that's where I'm going to end things off. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. So you can stay tuned for all this content up when I bring you. With all the being said, it's much off today. And remember, nothing can happen to swing the bat. Later.